Hello, I'm Paul Ralston. We're in the University of North Dakota men's locker room here at the Betty Ingalls Ted Seuss Center. We're social distancing, but we're going to get to know this University of North Dakota men's basketball roster. We've got a new guy. He's transferring in, Mitchell Suker. He started his career at South Dakota School of Mines, and he's from Marshall, Minnesota. Mitchell, thanks for joining us, and tell me a little bit about kind of where you come from, uh, Marshall, Minnesota. What about your hometown? What, what's Marshall all, all about? Um, so Marshall's kind of a smaller town in more like rural Minnesota, and it just has a great community. I love the people there. Uh, I actually knew Coach Nate a little bit uh, before I even came here. He worked at some SMSU camps. That's a college in Marshall mm -hmm. that I went to as a kid. Um, so, yeah, it's just a great community, and I really enjoyed my time there. When I think Marshall, Minnesota, believe it or not, I think of it as a very basketball-centric area. People love the game around that part of the world. Yes, I, I think so, too. We, we just love a lot of sports there in general, basketball, football, volleyball. So it's, it's a big sports town. So Let me ask you some questions. And remember, you have teammates, so you might have to answer for it later on. Okay. Okay. So you've just gotten to know some of these guys. Who, who's the messiest teammate right now? Oh, that's, that's Deshaun. Easy. That's okay. Deshaun. Do you think he'll acknowledge that when we talk to him? Ah, uh, he might not. He might not. <laughs> All right. Who's the best trash talker out of the group to this point, and who thinks they are the best? I think I'd have to go with Phil as the best trash talker because he can go in and out of a couple different languages. So <laughs> That does help. So, yeah, he, he can say things you really don't know what he's saying. So probably Philip. And is there a guy that's like, hey, I'm, I'm really good at this, but... Uh, I mean, Deshaun probably thinks he's good at trash talking, too. He just has a high confidence about himself. So, Who um, on the team do you think has the best nickname so far? Oh, we got, we got a couple of good nicknames here. Okay. Um, I don't want to expose any of the nicknames, but Nate, Nate Shockey has a great one. And Deshaun, Deshaun has a couple of good nicknames, actually. So th there's some out there, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to air any out right now. Okay. Well, we'll have to have a release date eventually. On of course, this. yeah. I want you to consider this for a second. Um, I know in this age of social distancing, it's a weird world, but let's say we're at normal and you're having hosting a four-person dinner. Okay, and you get to take one coach or staff member. So it could be a student manager, could be trainer, could be somebody else, but one coach or sta staff member, a teammate, and a celebrity. Who would make up your dinner party? Oh, wow. Um... We'll have to go with Coach Sather um, for a teammate. That's tough. I like I'm all, telling Horace I like all that my you didn't pick here. him. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I have to watch film with them after this, so I might hear about it. But um, I'll, I'll, I'll probably bring Deshaun with me. He pretty much lives over at my house now. He's, uh, he, he's there all the time watching movies. And then, let's see, celebrity. <sighs> Who's a good celebrity? We'll go with uh, Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant yeah. would be Kevin very Durant interesting at the yeah. dinner table. Yeah. I mean, plus, I mean, if you want to go play some pickup later on, that'd be a lot of fun, too. I, d I don't know if I want to do that with KD. Okay. <laughs> Name something we don't know about you. Uh, maybe an example would be, like, you like professional wrestling, or you sing in a band, or you sing karaoke. Uh, you know, you apparently have a YouTube unboxing channel. Something that would be just really surprising about Mitchell Sucker. Um, Surprising? There, there's a lot of surprising things about me, but... I don't know if this is super surprising, but I, I was in the drum line in my high school. So that was, we spent a lot of time in that. Uh, so I put, yeah, we put in a lot of time. Band camp, that was like 10 hours a day for two weeks in the summer. So I invested a lot of time in the drum line. So you're a percussionist. Correct, yes. That's, that is exactly what we were looking for. That's, this is exactly what I've been waiting for. Let's uh, do some quick uh, rapid fire questions. Let's see what you do with these. Um, beach or mountains? I don't even know what that means. Well, would you go to the beach or you want to go into the mountains? Uh, probably the beach. I love the ocean. You do? You Okay, yeah. wonderful. Um, if you had a superhero power, what would the superpower be? Mm, ability to teleport. That would be neat. Yeah, that would be nice. How about favorite uh, either pizza or tacos? Probably tacos. Hard shell, soft shell? Soft shell for sure. Okay, perfect. Hunting, fishing, or golf? Probably golf. I wouldn't say I'm great at golf, but I enjoy it. How about are you a video game guy, a board game guy, or a card game guy? I like all of them a lot. My you do? Fa my favorite is probably board games, but I, I play all of them. Wonderful. Uh, favorite NBA team? 
the the Timberwolves. We got to go with the the hometown state. Love it. It's so depressing sometimes. Yeah. All yeah, right. And favorite NBA player? Uh, Kevin Durant. Yeah. Kevin Durant. And one thing that people may not know is that uh, what are you in engineering? Yep, yep, biomedical engineering is what I'm getting my master's in here. Yeah, that's not hard at all. <laughs> all right, hey, thanks for joining us. We're so glad to meet you, and everybody, this is Mitchell Sucre. Uh, we're so glad to have him part of this program. Thanks for joining us. Thank today. you for having me. All right.